So many of you are probably beginning to think about what seeds you want to plant in your garden this year and you might even be starting them early inside somewhere. Um, a lot of times this is a simple thing to do, but you might encounter a problem if you're seeing some of your seedlings start to die. Um, and I want to share with you guys what's happening to some of our seedlings here. And this is a thing called damping off, which is a fungus um, that attacks your young seedlings when they're most vulnerable. Um, it also can attack some larger plants, but usually that results in crown rot or root rot. In young seedlings though, this tends to start right at the soil line and you'll see these seedlings turn brown at the soil line. As it grows up, eventually your seedling will just fall over and die. Sometimes this attacks seeds prior to germination and the seed will just turn mushy and brown. And sometimes it attacks the roots and it takes a while for you to start noticing it up above on the seedlings. Overwatering and cool soil temperatures also encourages damping off. I'm going to pull one of these up so you guys can kind of see what we're talking about. And you can see on this lower part of the stem right here at the soil line, you can see how it's turning brown right there and shriveling up. Eventually this is going to keep going up the stem and cause this seedling to die. But that's what has weakened it right there, causing it to fall over so that you know that it's already affected by the dampening off. I'm also going to pull up a healthy one here. Well, the one that's not showing signs just yet. And you can see how the stem is green all the way to where it meets the roots. So at this point, it hasn't been infected by the pathogen yet. Um, but if it was to stay in here much longer, it probably would. Or it's just not showing the symptoms just yet. So you want to make sure that you're using sanitized equipment. This is one of the best ways to prevent your seedlings from damping off. So we have new potting uh, containers here that we're going to use. A lot of times people will recycle some of their old containers and that's fine. Um, or they might even use old food containers. And again, this is perfectly fine, but you want to make sure that's sanitized first. So one of the best ways is to use a 10% bleach solution and soak those containers for about 30 minutes just to really make sure that they're clean of those pathogens. Now the other thing you want to make sure you use is new potting media because this has been sterilized before you get it. The other thing is it's got a lot of good structure still in it. If you have old potting media a lot of times people want to use that but I say that that's best to just go into the compost pile. Now you can see here in our seedlings, we've got this damping off that's starting to occur. Again, it starts at the soil line there um, in this case, and it's working its way up some of the seedlings. What happens is it spreads pretty rapidly. So we have overseeded this little container. There's way too many seedlings in here, and that prevents good airflow between those seedlings. And that also encourages that pathogen to really spread. So this is not an ideal situation. What we should have done would be to put one or two seeds in a six pack. This will allow plenty of airflow and it will allow those seedlings to have their best chance of growing in a new clean container with new potting soil. So if you're directly sowing your seeds outdoors, you want to make sure that your bed has good drainage and also that the soil isn't compacted. Having a lot of moisture in the soil is what allows this pathogen to grow quickly and, and cause that damping off in the seedlings also. So I hope this gives you a good idea of what causes damping off. And if you see your seedlings start to decline, know that that's what you're dealing with. Um, and it's best to just really prevent it in the beginning with good sanitation, good airflow, and also not overwatering your seedlings. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.